All right, guys. Welcome back to Half Fast Seven One Nine. Today, I'm gonna open up these two boxes. I guess I really shouldn't say today, since it's the same day as it was the last video. So, take my trusty Dewalt. It's the only thing that barely holds a charge from Dewalt. Open up. Um, we'll open up this one. Why not? Easy, easy, don't go too deep. Jeez. Maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it can't hold the charge. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Paper. Packing paper is good. Another box. Open that one nice and easy. Don't I remember what it is, but I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. Shredded boxes. Oh, okay. Okay, I know what it is now. Alright. Got some bracketry. Airbag. Brackets. So, this I'm gonna try to try to make work my idea so air slam it card and a sticker like like the stickers I'm not sure how this is gonna work but these are uh, basically they hold the airbags and uh, I'll have to show you guys what my plan is with that Basically, I'm going to make it do this. I'm going to make it pivot right here on a piece of tube. I'm going to weld in some bearings, some bushings. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Bear with me. Bear with me. Make sure there's nothing else in here. on Instagram. Okay. Let's see if this box. So I was cutting careful because I thought they were bags or something. So arm bracket I think so my plan is so I have the a-arm a-arm is sitting roughly at this angle with it being low so I'm gonna sandwich an airbag I'm gonna have to flare these outward I think you guys can see me flare them outward and uh, weld it up there and then this will be attached to the airbag somehow some way some shape some form if not I might have to make my own bracketry another card not another sticker which is 
no big deal. I don't care. <laughs> Stickers are cool. This one I think I need to be careful. Because this one I believe are bags. Always cut towards you. That's always a good thing. It's not kidding. Cut away from you. It's a joke. Okay. Five hundred pound airbag. There's one. There's two. And there may be some parts in here because. Pretty big. This is what you were wanting, Glenn. We're talking about getting some bigger line and stuff. That line is huge. I thought it said quarter inch. But maybe that is quarter inch. I don't know. I'll have to do some more R and R. Some more researching. So anyway, I did think that it was going to come with some uh, line. However, it didn't. It did not. So these were the smaller, smaller diameter of airbags that I could find. That hopefully will work. Not then back to the drawing board. So, as you can see, they're a lot smaller, a lot smaller than those airbags. So, should fit in there. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll find out. Don't know when I'm going to do this project. Because, uh, like I had said before, kind of getting burnt out. So, that's going to go like that. Some sort. Actually, this is going to go like this, which means I'm going to have to drill a hole out on the bottom. See, this is the line I thought I was going to use. This line is massive. My fault. It's my problem. Anyway, I have the airbag. We'll be on the control arm. And then this will be topside somewhere tucked in. watching so just trying to see how far I can clamp this down
to its smallest. Man, these ones didn't come with any hardware or nothing. It's supposed to come with all the hardware. I might have to contact them. So, in a nutshell, that's what's gonna look like. A arm is gonna be sitting like that. This is gonna be the A arm. This, these will be bent somewhere, somehow, some shape, like that. And then I'll air it up and. I hope, I hope, I hope. Because I don't want to put that torsion bar stuff back in there. So anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm going to have to contact these people because they were supposed to give me line and hardware. They're supposed to come with nuts, bolts, and uh, I think like 15 or 20 feet of, uh, of hose. And then I could have just ran these with the hose and then got a reducer or something to that effect so anyway that's project crack pipe that's what i'm gonna try don't even know if i have room in there looks like i have room in there but i am uncertain we will have to find out I have any room in there. So, and you guys will find out with me. What do you guys think about the air filter? I think it's a much needed thing. But, all right guys, it's windy, it's warm. I don't work when it's windy and it's hot. Just kidding, I always work when it's hot. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Guys, subscribe. Stay tuned for some parts I ordered for the fourth gen 2500 Mega Cab. Ordered a part that I think every Dodge, Toyota, and maybe Chevy, I think every truck should have. But uh, you guys be the judge of it when I get it and do an install video. So, but that won't be for two weeks. Anyway guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to go inside, relax, upload the videos, subscribe for me, comment, ask questions. I answer questions pretty quick. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Later.